ACCA, the Acute Cardiovascular Care Association under the ESC, really needs your help to gather information about uh, the unmet needs locally regarding the treatment of acute coronary syndrome. We know there's uh, big differences between hospitals, between regions, between countries. That's why we want to have your input. We still have huge challenges in treating our ACS patients in the optimal way. We should share our information, we should get together. Despite the tremendous progress in the care of ACS patients, ACS remains a leading cause of death and disability worldwide and particularly in Europe. Help us to implement better care from these patients. The acute management, in hospital management of acute coronary syndrome has improved amazingly in many places in Europe but there's a wide variation between hospitals, between regions, and between countries. And then still, I think this is one of the biggest challenges that Europe has to face as a whole in the terms of management of acute coronary syndrome. We need to be able to provide more uniform care, good care, but good care to everybody, and round the clock every day of the year. An important thing is to, to have a system where you're able to provide primary PCI 24-7 for the vast majority of the patients. I think that coordinated networks for management, not at the level of the institution, but at the regional level, is really one way forward. And both recent guidelines for ST elevation and non-ST elevation emphasize the aspect of the need for coordinated care in regional networks. In fact, the la latest uh, guideline even emphasized that the, the protocols should be written and agreed upon by all stakeholders that participate in the care of STEMI patients. Both acute coronary syndrome guidelines have a huge potential on improving the health of a population, the health of our patients and the health of our citizens. The unmet needs for the management of acute coronary syndrome is first still coordination of the systems to improve as much as possible the earliest uh, uh, identification and management of the patients. Then the uh, um, population uh, catch up of cath labs available in each country or in each region. And third, within the hospital in the cath lab, you need to have uh, experienced things with good uh, uh, material and antithrombotic drugs we know that are essential for the uh, uh, best uh, management and the outcomes of these patients. Patients with ACS now tend to have a shorter course of hospital stay and the in-hospital death rates have gone down tremendously. However, there's data uh, from some large-scale registries that shows that the vast majority of death that occur in patients who've had an ACS occur after discharge. And therefore, you haven't fixed the problem just by doing an angiogram and putting in a stent, because nine out of 10 of the patients who are gonna die are gonna die after you've done that. And most of the reduction in long-term mortality in STEMI patients has come from the uh, success of the early management, that probably is not the case for non -STs. At 6-12 months, these patients actually uh, have the same mortality as STEMI patients. And we know that the variation in the management of these patients is even bigger than for STEMI patients. It's now shown in our country and also in some of similar countries that actually the rate of ST elevation myocardial infarction is dropping slightly. I think there's still a lot of room for acute cardiac care because we would have other patients like resuscitated patients that would come in. We also now see more non-ST elevation myocardial infarction. So there's this global uh, change in the, in the disease. Despite all of the tremendous progress we've made, there remains heterogeneity and fragmentation of care. We need to recognize that ACS and post-ACS events represent a tremendous cause of death and disability. We need to recognize that some patients remain at tremendous risk and we don't know how to manage them very well. I'm thinking, for instance, of medically managed uh, ACS. And finally, we need to implement, to find systems to implement quality of care consistently both over time and across geographic regions for all patients uh, from the acute phase to the chronic post-discharge phase.